Ooh, hey, wait a minute. It's you! Hey, sweetie. Amid the squalor of Fort Joy, you suddenly spot an elf with diamond features, regal and radiant, but cold too, and sharper than any knife. She Man. was the one who sat rolling dice in the ship that went under, deciding fates with every roll. Or so she said. Her eyes are focused on a lizard some distance away. And you get the distinct feeling he's an unfortunate man indeed to be trapped in her tiger-like gaze. Um... Ask her what a guy has to earn that stare. No sooner have these words left your mouth than she turns about and grabs you in a stranglehold. <laughs> you feel the tip of a long needle being pushed a little ways into your neck. I am so turned on right now. You caught me off guard. No one catches me off guard. Better tell me who you really are, so I can decide your fate here and now. Uh, say you're like another elf like her, tell her to take it easy. It wasn't your intention to startle her. I don't know, I do enjoy startling people. Uh, command her to let you go this instant, what the hell do you think she is? Nah, it wasn't my intention but to startle you. But you did, and now the tables have turned. You look quite startled to me. Actually, it's more turned on. A push, a pivot, and now you suddenly face her. The needle still all too deeply embedded in the side of your throat. Ow! Despite the precariousness of your situation, you notice something that remained undetected in the gloom of the ship. A flaw in her diamond features. A curiously shaped scar on her left cheek. She has a scar too! What you looking because at the lizard for? Because it is my desire to question him. Intensely. As for the reason, you're staring at it. Oh, the, uh... You see, I... once upon a bad old time, a lizard cut this thing, this living scar, into my cheek. The mark of a slave. Oh. But now I'm free, of sorts. And I've traced that lizard here, to Fort Joy. I intend to raise the subject with him. Okay. Um, politely ask her to remove the needle. You can talk to her, a little civilized people. No. Okay. She drives the needle in deeper. Ow! Ow! In truth, it does not matter in the least who you really are. You saw me mark my prey. You could warn him, save him, or kill him before I get my chance. I'm not gonna do anything. That makes you a liability. That makes you needle feed. Needle feed. Okay. Uh, maybe you can join us instead. A sparkle of laughter follows your proposal. <laughs> How amusing! I admit I had not seen that twist coming. I was certain the pitiful begging was about to begin. Make your case and do it quickly. Why should I join you? Uh, sooner or later, the magister will come for her. The magister, come for her. Tether, she'll not survive on her own. No, she'd do pretty well. Say you're planning your escape and you need people of talents like hers. Escape? <laughs> How you do tickle me. Most of the misguided deers around here would argue such a thing is impossible. Scoff and say nothing's impossible. Hmm. A silly thing to say, but then again, I did think catching me off guard was impossible. Hey! Oh, little needle mine, what should I do? Push or pull? Hmm. Pull, the please. Agony of choice. I'm not into blood play. You know what? Today is a rather fine day. Sunshine and an easy breeze. Yes, I'll let you live. I'll even agree to travel with you, provided we talk to that lizard I mentioned. Sure. I'm not quite sure the weather will save him. With a casual flick of the wrist, she withdraws the needle from your neck and smiles, as if she just invited you to sit down for tea. I like chamomile. Let's discuss our respective roles then, shall we? Okay. You, me, and Death will be playing many a round of hide-and-seek, so... What role would you like me to play? As a rogue, my speciality is stealth. The quick silence of the dagger striking unseen. That said, I'm perfectly lethal wielding any weapon or magic. So, uh, rogue is fine. Suits me fine. Lead on. Or better yet, let me take the lead. 
Okay, not, and that settles it. You're not quite certain you'll ever sleep soundly with Sibyl in any sort of proximity, but at least she's on your side for the moment. Yay! We got our full party! Now I would have. Oh! Ooh! Watermelon looks so good! I'll take all that food. Uh. We got our full party. Granted, I have no real magic user. Um. But honestly, I'm okay with this. We got frontline guy. Me as the second frontline with additional support. We got our ranged guy in the back, and then Stabby. I like Stabby. Inventory, let's see what you got. Let's see, we got two knives. Ah, she dual wields, two knives. Got it. She's got a little skirtsy thing. Um, that dagger is about the same as her dagger. No, it's less powerful. Um, that bottle of poison goes to me. Thank you very much. Um, tongs. Sturdy pair of blacksmith tongs. I have lock picks, and I think you can take the lock picks. Bag. Nothing in the bag. I'll take the bag. Um, actually, I'm going to give you the invisibility potion here. Sort by type, please. Thank you. Uh, okay, so I'm going to take this. Oh, no. Nope. Unlock. This is an invisibility potion. going to go right there. Healing potion is going to go right there. Resurrection scroll is going to go right there. And then we'll check on your things in a minute. Because at number two spot, we're going to take these lockpicks and put them right there. And what are we going to give you else? What is that? That's a log. Okay. Um, I honestly don't know what I want to give you. We'll figure it out later. Maybe you'll hold all the potions that we're never going to use. Because I'm like that. Uh, let's see. Skill panel, please. You are, of course, a scoundrel. You've got some good stuff, too. Break the shackles. Remove the following negative statuses. Oh, nice. Skills. Damage is based on your basic attack. Throwing knives. Throw a knife at your opponent, dealing 7 to 8 physical damage. Can backstab. Ooh, damage is based on basic attack. Let's see. Backlash. Jump over at the enemy, landing behind their back, and stabbing them for physical damage. And then Adrenaline, gain two action points immediately, but you lose two action next time. Uh, can okay, cast in combat. Okay, so... Let's remove some things. First and foremost... Uh, no, not break shackles. Uh, flurry... Perform three quick attacks, each dealing three to four physical damage, based on back from finesse. Okay. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to take this all the way over here. This is technically a buff, so we're going to put that there. This is an attack. We're going to... Oh, no, that's the same thing with that. This is a little bit more ranged here. Come on. Put that right there. Break shackles. Remove the following negative th traits. This is flesh sacrifice. Gain one action point immediately. And then this also is a buff. It's kind of a how hallowing, how harrowing, harrowing buff. But it's a buff nonetheless. Everything seems to be pretty good. What are your skills, by the way? Dual wielding, one, leadership, blah blah. Two and scoundrel. Bartering, yeah, sneaking, definitely a two. We're gonna put thievery on your thing as well, possibly. 
Ancestral Knowledge, Corpse Eater, and the Pawn permits your character AP worth free movement per turn. Oh, that's cool. Oh! I wondered why I could talk to animals. You have Pet Pal! The bonus initiative and extra critical strike chance. What do you have? Opportunist, sophisticated, and spell song. Interesting. She's a scholar. Outlaw, civil, female, elf. How are you a scholar? You know what? I'm not going to question how you're a scholar. I'm just going to quick save and have my entire party full. Uh, I mean, it's not entirely full. Um, quick save succeeded. Yay! And we're just going to take this and put it, like, right there. And then lock it back in place. And then we get going over here to figure out what's going so this on. This is Fort Joy. Surely you'll have one. What a crumbling disaster. Yes. Scrab, snake face. Worse than more rations, these. Hi. You forget my name. Uh, there's a door over there. There's a nosy person over there. Come on, kitty. No, nope, come on. No, we're going in this direction. Why do I... Why did that happen? Um... Someone in a cage? So much. This guy's in a cage. Leave him be. Don't make me say it again. Oh, you're an asshole. Listen, I can help you if you just... Shut up, elf. He seems badly injured, and why is this he in guy. here? You caught him stealing from my kitchen. Oh. Still won't say where he stashed my supplies. Sound like someone you'd let off with a slap on the wrist. Are you sure he's the culprit? Caught him red-handed trying to make off with a second crate after he took the first. <laughs> Went down like a rent boy when we grabbed him. Easy. Uh, what's he meant to have stolen? Supplies. A crate of food. A citrus in particular. <laughs> He'll talk. Or he'll die quiet. I uh, wonder if he'd really kill a man for it. No, he'll do it. Tail Griff has no right to keep a man locked up here in such bad conditions. Make a proposal, you'll find back the stolen supplies, and you'll free the guy. All I want is my supplies. <clears throat> Happy to let this clown die in a gutter instead of my kitchen. Bring back my crate, and you got yourself a deal. Great. Uh, I'll take my leave. So, buddy. An elf, caked in mud and blood, looks up at you from the bottom of the cage. He holds his shoulder at a strange angle. Despite his condition, he appears eager for your attention. Why is there glowy stuff over you? You... You... Believe what he says? That I am a thief? Uh, shrug and say you have no reason to not, as if the alternative accounts were locked up. Shake your head. You wouldn't put it past a man like that. Accepted. Like most men behind bars, I'm innocent. Well. Like most of us here on the island, in fact. Yeah, that's... But that's Aren't you right. like me, looking for a way out? Uh, why do you make the assumption? Some people settle in. They don't go poking around in Griff's kitchen. They find a quiet place, wait their turn. Right. Not you. Tell him he has you pegged wrong. You're not looking to make waves. Tell him he's got a sharp eye. You're not keen on waiting around for magisters to cure you. Well, how did you end up in the Griff cage? Griff tells you, does he not? I take his supplies. But I don't take what he thinks. I do not have his oranges. I do not even see them. Okay. I tell you what I know. But first, I want to make a trade. Okay, so you don't want to make any uh, alliances. Uh, what's on your mind? I know a way I'm out. Fine. I show you, and you, you help me out of here. Done. I cannot die in this cage. Sure. Finally. 
progress. Finally, progress, my Griff head. releases me if he sees I do not have what he misses. We, you, must find who steals them. Right. After I am free, you are free. All right. Uh, ask if he has any idea who took his wife. I see no one. In fact, I only hear the sound of Griff clearing his throat. You know how he does? <clears throat> like so. For some time, I think Griff takes his own supplies. But I see the anger in him that he does not find it. He truly does not find what he seeks. Hmm. Why is he getting the question what he was doing snooping around Griff's... Uh, what were you doing around here anyway? I intend no harm. I want only some provisions. A bit of bread, a potato or two. Nothing Griff should be loath to give. I need to escape and, and I have people to consider. Okay. You understand. Uh ask if he knows why Griff's so hellbent. Griff I, I is guess. a powerful man. Power is mysterious. In case you haven't <clears throat> noticed. Yeah, sure. Thank you. And hurry. Please. Okay. Oh, I can't. Alright. So, first off, what can I take in this area? Nothing. Damn it. Alright, Griff. Let's have a couple of words. Griff glances from his blade to you and back again. Uh, you're interested in trade. Let's discuss your you deal. You know the terms. Nothing else to say. All right, trade. Sure, have a look. What you got? Oh, just some food. And cash. All right. No, I got nothing on. I got nothing on that. All right. Worse than war rations, please. All right. Uh, who are you, ma'am? I said, ma'am, who are you? Stop running. I got that special shipment you was asking after. Everything there? Good. Excuse me. Hey, down here. You're a little light in your pack, ain't you? Who could blame you with the garbage they got for sale around here? Why don't you take a gander at the goodies I've got? Stuff you won't find anywhere else in camp. Hmm. Procured by special means. I mean, that's pretty good. Ask what sort of special means. Say something sounds off about her offer. You say you'll have a look as long as quality stuff. You're looking for Gris Griff's missing supplies. Tell her to give you one good reason. Tap your dagger and say you'd rather buy directly from the source. I'd rather buy directly from the source, thank you. Hey, oh, nice try, Midge. Now, uh, put that shiner away, and I'll shave a little off the top, how about? Oh, that sounds lovely, ma'am. Still on your feet, eh? Glad to hear it. Yeah, I'll take a Feel look as long as it's quality stuff. Ain't fit for beasts. Oh. I got a dusty hat. Let's see, what's some scoundrel stuff? Adrenaline skill book, chloroform, magical armor, and then tries for sleeping. Knife throw, backlash. Bleeding pretty probes, much everything I so have much. already. Um. Yay! But I noticed the marking down of dumb stuff. What is that? Makeshift wand. Um. Okay. I'm gonna take Where's that. The war rations, please? And I want this. And that. And I'll sell you. I'm a little over what I have. We'll even it out. 26, and then I'll sell you. Two of these and 
Um, a log. I accept your offer. And then we go into our inventory and our selves. We, of course, first put this on me because I need the armor. And being that I just got uh, the, this, we're going to put that in your inventory. And these pants. I'm going to give these pants to the girl because she needs armor. She's a rogue, so that means she's a little squishy. I've got that special shipment you was asking after. Put that to you and Put that to you, and then this is just a pair of pants. Here, you can put these on you. And you. Lovely. Are you naked at the moment? Why are you naked at the moment? I just I just put a shirt on you. I fit for beasts. How come we can't see the shirt? I mean I'm not I'm not angry at this. Oh no, I can see it. It that is her shirt. Perhaps if those bleeding dwarves did need so much. Hmm. Okay. We'll go with it. Talk to this lady. Oh no, 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 not not you. Heading into the kitchen. Don't try anything funny around Griff. I'm watching you. Okay. I'll be on my way. Right. Good. Wrong person to talk with. This Edna person. In the kitchen. Don't try anything funny around Griff. I'm watching. Ask her if she likes what she sees. Ask if there's anything you need to know about Griff, about his character. Yeah, what about him? Well, he runs this place and everyone in it, including you. Better to make yourself useful to him if you're stuck here anyway. That's what I did. All right. Careful. How high of a level? He's level three. I'm gonna wait for this lady to come back up and then ask her about the supplies. See, here's the trick. You buy something from her first, then you pinch her on the theft. But you just bought from me. Ah, 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 ah. That was then, this is now. Also, where are you? You're down there. You'll come up eventually. So, let's talk to you. Come on, I, I want to talk with you. I've got that special shipment you was asking after. Still on your feet, eh? Let's so, you're looking for Griff's Feel missing supplies. And fella in that cage is the thief. Stash the oranges somewhere before he was caught. If you believe that. You gather you don't? I see plenty of liars in my line of work. Snakes, weasels, worms. That fella's square as a pavestone. If he's the thief, I'll eat my boots. Uh, ask you know who might be the real culprit? Sure do. Ask me. It'd have to be one of those sad sacks that's always hanging around Griff looking for favors. Okay. She darts her tongue out of her mouth like a snake. Some folks, and some reptiles, will do anything to get his attention. I see plenty hmm. of liars in my line of work. Snakes, weasels, worms. That fella's square as a pavestone. If he's a thief, I'll eat my boots. All right. Sure you don't want to have a look at my stock before you go? I'll take I'm my leave. So where was that lizard at... Excuse me. Uh, where was that lizard fellow that ran off? 
We might have to find them. Ooh! There's a red thing there. What's that for? Stringtail. Oh, that's the guy that I'm looking for. That makes that easy. 